Hi guys, welcome back to our new video. So today we are back in my hometown. I came back from the Tuscany retreat about three days ago and I'm just getting ready because we are preparing for a barbecue today. Today is actually Wednesday and I'm really really excited because yesterday my boyfriend arrived from Ireland. So we are having a few days here where he's gonna be here for about four days and then we are going back to Ireland together and I'm gonna be staying with him for about 20 days. Mmm, perfect. Oh, that's a really nice shot. Working hard. <laughs> Che sto facendo male, non è rubato. Te che ci capisci, quello ha detto che è ottimo questo. Sì, però ti aspetta se stacca da proprio. Ah, che non la fai faccia. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I come to you from Florence. I'm here with my boyfriend, Niall, that I've never shown. This is the first time that I actually show him on a video. Um, but he came to spend a few days, about four days, here in Italy with me. He's from Ireland. And on Sunday, we're actually gonna go back to Ireland together to spend a few more, a few, like a few weeks together before I go back to Italy. But I know I've been, I've been jumping all over the place these past few weeks. Um, I'm back in Florence now. I just, I feel like, well, the last video that I took was of Tuscany. So since then, it's been about two, about. A week that I've been back here that I've been back home and then today I just got here in Florence with Niall. I didn't go to Florence last time that I was in Tuscany which was last week but I just thought it would be nice to show him what Florence looks like what Tuscany looks like because it's a gorgeous gorgeous region in Italy and it's also the closest biggest city to Rome that you can get to with the train. The easiest place really to get to from Rome, Roma, Roma Termini, which is the train station in Rome. So that's what we did. We came here and we're gonna spend a night here and then we're going back home tomorrow morning and getting back to my hometown around 1 p.m. So it's, go it's a very quick trip, but it's gonna be nice. He's been here just once before, which was for New Year's Eve, uh, the past New Year's Eve, and he saw Rome for the first time then. This time I thought, why not see Florence? So that's what we're, we're doing, and 
maybe you can come along and I'll show you bits and pieces of this amazing city because Florence is such a gorgeous city. I always say if I had to choose a different city to live in in Italy, it would probably be Florence. I feel very comfortable here. It's a smaller city. I find it pretty peaceful and people are really nice here. So I really, I really enjoy the city. So I'm excited to be here and to show you around as well. The clips that I showed you right before this one are of the barbecue that we had with family two days ago. Yes, two days ago. And it was a very, very fun day. Now I met a lot of my family friends and it was just a fun, fun day. I always find that being surrounded by my family and family friends is so fun. They are just hilarious together. They're always laughing. They're always having a good time. It's it's a party basically. A party that is actually a dinner that lasts quite a long time. And you know what? It's fine. I'll take that. We love that. We've had quite a few days that were pretty hectic. We've been seeing people, catching up with my friends. So it's been quite, quite the social life these days. And soon we're gonna go back to Ireland, which you know that I love. I was just there a few, a few weeks ago with my cousin. I always love going back to Ireland. It always feels like it's home. I feel like I'm home there as well. So. It'll be nice to see, to meet also Niall's friends, uh, friends that I haven't met yet, and you know, just spend some time, I guess, also away from the heat because it's been boiling. But aside from that, let's stop talking, let's begin our tour of Florence. Have you seen how stunning this place is? The lighting here is also gorgeous. This place is just gorgeous. I'll have to give you a tour of it. It's called Otto Tantotto Firenze. So it's like a big building and like a boutique hotel. So it doesn't have many rooms, but the rooms are so, so nice. I did take a video of the room, but I might take a few more just to show you the details of this place because it's gorgeous. And um, what else? We're gonna go for lunch and then go for a, lot, a walk around the city and yeah very 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 peaceful very very calm day when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Our stuff and go back to Rome. I 
just woke up about like 30 minutes ago and put some makeup on so put my face on and now we're gonna go have breakfast downstairs because it's included with the hotel and I'll leave the hotel down below because it's an amazing hotel and if you ever want to come to Florence this is this is a great place to come to it's in a great area as well there's so many restaurants and wine bars and places to go to and have lunch or dinner and also it's really close to the bridges so you can just cross and go to the opposite side where the train station is so that's what we are going to do we're gonna cross the bridge again and go towards the station although before we go i'm gonna go into a bakery because i want to get a few maybe cookies to bring back to mom and dad and also to Niles mom. Hopefully I can get everything done before 10.43 because that's when the train is set to leave. Everything was amazing. The restaurant that we went to last night was really really good. I think I took a few shots of the um, things that we were eating so I'm going to link it down below as well if I can find it online um, or just write the name down so you can check it out if you're ever in Florence. So yeah that's basically our trip to Florence done been amazing love the city so much came back and I love it more than I did before I don't think it was possible but the more I come the more it feels amazing like the more I come the more I like it it's a really cute city so full of charm it has all these cute little stores uh, all these amazing little restaurants food is amazing like we didn't have a bad meal like we did not we even went to like an american brunch place and you know sometimes when you're not in the place that makes that kind of food it's um it's kind of hard to find a good one but this one was really really good i had that avocado toast that was freaking amazing and i had a pink ice latte i've never had a pink ice latte it was made with beetroot and cocoa and at first i thought it didn't have like a a lot of flavor but then I mixed it more together and really enjoyed it that's called the rooster I think I'm gonna link that as well I'm gonna link all the restaurants and you know places that we went to down below so you can check them out here when you come here and um, yeah, now it's late I have to go have breakfast so I'll see you when I get back bye Good morning everybody sorry for the noise i'm doing a little bit of laundry right now so that's the noise that you might be hearing i am talking to you from ireland i'm in galway right now and i'll be here for about three weeks it's been a few days since we left italy the weather here has been really really good not the regular irish weather you would think it's much much cooler than what italy was like we were hitting like 40 degrees weather and here and here it's about 20 degrees so the weather is much better or more bearable in a way so i'm on my way to first of all go into town because i want to go and check out a few stores because i have uh, my cousin's wedding coming up at the end of august and i still don't have a dress so i need a wedding guest dress so i'm thinking of going into a few stores just to see if i can find something and also just to look around really so i'll take you with me and we'll go around galway and see what galway looks like if you haven't seen it i do suggest you come and visit because it's a really 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 nice place like all of Ireland really. So I'll take you with me to the stores and then afterwards we're going to the gym and doing a workout. So this is the plan. I'm going to the gym around 12.45 and then I'll do some work this afternoon. So it's a very chill day, but tomorrow we are going on a very, very exciting weekend away, but that's gonna be for the next video. 
So let's think about today and let's go on our adventure in Galway. Also, look at this view. So nice. So these are the dresses that I'm going to try on. Let's see. Okay, don't look at my hair, but this is what the dress looks like. I kind of really like it. I like the color as well. And it's so comfortable because it's elasticized as well. Really like it. Don't think I would go. I'm wearing a size small, but I don't think I would go any smaller. Yeah, I like it. And this very basic top that I think is very, very cute as well. And I might get it because it's on sale. I'm back home now, but I'm just getting my shoes on. I'm switching my shoes from my sneakers to my hookahs because I am late. I'm late because I have to go to the gym now, and I think I'll be doing a reformer session uh, and also a workout, like a, a gym workout. I'm thinking probably more legs than anything. But yeah, I am a little bit late, so I'm just going really, really quick. I need to, I need to run. I just wanted to show you what I got. So as you saw, I got that dress and then, and then that shirt, which was on sale. So I just thought a yeah, basic shirt, why not get it? And then I went to Boots, which is pretty much like Shoppers Drug Mart would be in Canada. And I got a Fenty Beauty uh, brow pencil, I think, in a dark brown. Yeah. And I just started following Amy on Amy Connolly, I think her name is, on Instagram. And I actually saw her that she has a skincare. I think makeup as well, a skincare line uh, in Boots. So I got her Cloud Cream, which is a moisturizer, and I actually needed a new moisturizer. This is why I went into Boots for to begin with. And yeah, I found this one, and it's vegan friendly. So I got this as well, and I can't wait to try it out and see. I also like that uh, you can also just buy the refills for this, so you have the base and then you just refill it with the cream when you're done. So this is what I got, uh, just a couple of things, not a lot, and then I went into the grocery store and got um, some bread, some protein yogurts, some, what else did I get? some meats uh, because tomorrow when Niall comes back from work around four we're just gonna have a quick snack and then we're gonna go away for the weekend so now I really really need to go Done. Just in time because the camera's dying as well. I'm back from the gym. I actually can't believe it. I ended up doing a chin up. 
Like, I'm still so shocked that I actually did a chin-up. I'm going to add the video that I took doing my second chin-up because the first one I just did as a joke. Like, I saw Niall doing a, a pull-up, so I just went to the bar thinking I'm gonna try, but it's not gonna work out because it never does. And then instead, like, I actually did it. I was so... I was so shocked and I'm still so shocked. But anyways, I'm gonna add that uh, short video because I had to send it to my personal trainer back in Canada. Cause I was so, I was so proud. I'm still so proud. I can't believe I actually did it. So <laughs> wow. All around a great workout. I did squats, uh, barbell squats, I did press up, I did the chin up, I did quite a few exercises plus a little bit of uh, reformer pilates. So that was fun. Um, it's just my second time doing reformer pilates. Niall is actually a um, reformer pilates trainer plus a personal trainer. So. Um, he knows what he's doing and I follow what he's doing. I just wanted to show you what the cream looks like inside because I realized that I actually didn't open the box and show you what it looks like inside, like what the cream looks like. So I'm just going to do that really quickly and then I think I'm going to go have something to eat and a shower because yeah, it's that time of the day. Plus I also have to talk to my mom in a little bit. so. I'll be doing that soon. Okay, if I can ever get it to open. This is what it looks like. Very, very cute. See? And then you open it up. And voila, you have the cream. So, it looks very nice. And I can't wait to try it. I just tried a little bit on my, on my hand earlier when I was in boots. And... Yeah, so this is the refillable cream. See, it comes like this. So you keep this base and then you can buy this, which is also cheaper at the store. So this you keep, this you get a refill of. And looks like it's very easy to put in as well. So cream and brow pencil. That's what it looks like. I have I have the pencil right here. It comes with a, a brush as well. It's a few hours later and I'm just getting ready to make dinner now. I'm gonna make a salad, a salmon, baked salmon, and some baked potatoes, roasted potatoes. So I think I'm just gonna end this video here because the next one is gonna be an exciting one. So wait for that one and until then i hope you have an amazing week and i will see you very soon in the next one bye bye okay so here we have it i've made a salad just prepped basically so this is my salad i put a bit of avocado that we had left it's basically all the veggies that we had left over in the house so i have some lettuce some tomatoes cucumber uh, half of an avocado last two mushrooms that i had in the fridge and a pepper a green pepper and then here we have the potatoes that are ready to go in the oven as well i added salt olive oil some italian herbs and a dash of red chili peppers here we have the salmon so i didn't have lemon the lemon it was actually not good the one that we had in the fridge so instead i added olive oil black pepper salt and a uh, cajun seasoning that we had uh, it's this one right here so i'm really not sure what it will taste like but we shall see